Hey everybody, it's Jasmine, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make red lipstick wearable. During holiday season, I feel like red lipstick makes just the biggest cameo ever. Everyone wants to find that perfect red, everyone wants to feel and look festive, but sometimes red lipstick can be very intimidating, so I wanna give you guys an easy approach to wearing red lipstick. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start off this tutorial, you'll be needing two things. It's literally that simple. You're gonna be needing a nude lip liner and you're also gonna be needing any type of red lipstick. Now, personally, when I choose my shade of red, I like going more towards that orangey red because I feel like it's not too abrasive, especially on my yellow skin tone. I feel like oranges and yellows and reds kind of all mesh in together. So I feel like with the orangey red lipstick, I feel like it just makes it look a little bit more like I bit my lip or like I just had a popsicle and it doesn't look anything crazy. Of course, there are other shades of reds that you might find on the market. You might find your true red, which usually has a blue undertone. You might find a pinky red, which self-explanatory. You might find a vampy red um, and some other variations like that. But those three, I feel like are the other most popular types of reds on the market. So to kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about, this is what an orangey red lipstick will look like on my complexion. Not too crazy, but you know, still red. This right here is gonna be your true red. This one is by Kaleidos and it is the shade Ambition. And this one definitely is going to be the red that will make your teeth look a lot whiter in photos. This one is by Shop Miss A. It's part of their So Smooth collection, and this is the shade Island. This is your vampy red. It has a little bit of purple in there. And this one's also by Shop Miss A, part of their So Smooth line. It is the shade Palm. Now, this one's kind of your cherry red, so it has a little bit more pink in there. And to be honest, this is not my favorite type of red. I just feel like it can never really work with any of the looks that I do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the orangey red that I first applied on my hand, which was by Touch and Soul. And this is part of their Soul Velvet lipstick line. And this one's in the shade Portland Brick. My two favorite nude lip liners are from ColourPop and by Real Her. ColourPop, I have the shade Curvy, and Real Her, I have the shade I Am Confident. I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips with this nude lip liner first. And this is going to allow the red to almost blend into the skin. Sometimes I feel like when you are using a red lip liner underneath a red lipstick, it can get really bold really fast. So I feel like with the nude, it kind of just tones it down right away. So I just line my lips like that. I fill in just a little bit inside the lip, but not too much. And I will go in with my lipstick and I like to apply it right in the center first of the lip and then press my lips together and then just move it around like that. And as you see, as I press my lips together, the outside edge isn't too crisp. Now, I kind of like it that way because it's kind of like you're not being too extra. I feel like when you have a crisp red lip, it means business. And I feel like when you have kind of like a soft outline of your lips, I just think it looks a little bit more casual. It looks a little bit more day to day. And it kind of just looks like you're here for a good time. And just like that, you guys are up my little quick tip and trick on how to make red lipstick wearable. I hope you guys found some really helpful tips in this video. And if it works for you, please let me know. I would love to see some pictures on Instagram. And as always, I love you all so much. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.